game that's been proposed since 2012 and again in 2014 is uh, coming under the spotlight again for reasons other than the accusation of uh, having a nanny state. The scheme called Smile Time is being proposed by NICE, uh, one of the uh, branches of uh, NHS that's always been accused of being a nanny state and this one sounds more like a super nanny state. What would be less alarming was if the advice they were given to children was right. To protect kids from fluoride related dangers parents should treat toothpaste like any other harmful chemical and keep it locked up when not in use. Doctors recommend supervising children younger than age 6 while they brush and reminding them to spit out the paste rather than swallowing. This could not be clearer. Parents should also be using this time to teach kids to use no more than a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. Children aged 2 and younger shouldn't use fluoride toothpaste unless directed to use it by a dentist or a doctor. And infants younger than 6 months should never be exposed to fluoride toothpaste. When used Properly, fluoride toothpaste is unlikely to pose any serious risks to your children. However, swallowing more than a pea-sized amount each day increases the risk for dental fluorosis, a condition that leads to brown spots and staining of the teeth. Your children face an even greater chance of developing it if they consume fluoride from other sources such as drinking water, food or mouthwash. While every child's tolerance to fluoride is different, eating small amounts of toothpaste has been linked to gastrointestinal problems ranging from vomiting to diarrhea. Kids who eat small amounts each day can develop chronic health issues, including problems with bone development. Overexposure or prolonged exposure, say, oh, I don't know, over the course of a lifetime, um, it can actually degrade your teeth's health, right? It can actually accelerate decay, and not just teeth, but bones as well, right? Which is skeletal fluorosis. Right. It can also cause seizures. It can also cause a severe gastrointestinal yeah. upset. It can lower your IQ, supposedly, allegedly. Well, that's not necessarily allegedly. There's a bunch of studies um, that have been shown that there is at least a correlation between high fluoride exposure and low IQ.